Hello, I'm Mike. I'm Joshua. And we are Discovery Duo. On this episode of Discovery Duo, we are checking out 10, 10 different types of alternatives to fidget spinners. These are pretty random, but I think there's some things in here that you might enjoy, and other people might not have even seen any of these things, and I think that they might actually get some, some sort of use out of them. I like fidgeting. <laughs> yeah, he does a lot of fidgeting, and I have to take things off for this desk that we have here, this lovely desk. He's one of those people who really does need fidget spinners. So not only are we doing this just for the show, but we're also doing it for Joshua. Oh. So let's get started. Cool. I'm gonna start with what I think is kind of like the, the mediocre and not so exciting. And I'm gonna save the best for last kind of thing, you know? For the first one we have, I, I know this is something you have seen before. Uh -huh. Like I said, I, I, I want it to be something where we're ramping up. So you go ahead and open that up. Guys, just so you know, I don't know the name of a lot of these things. They're just kind of like weird things that I find from like China sites and things of that sort or from Amazon. Whatever the name that I figure out that they are, I'll put something in the description. So you, if, if you actually want to purchase any of these items, there'll be a link down in the, in the description. All right, so the first one is this little ring thing. That's one of those things you can fit in your pocket, you know, if, and put it on your key ring. Once you get used to it, there might be little techniques that you can do. And that's the whole thing about fidgeting in general is it's all, you find like your little rhythms that you get with certain things, you know what I mean? See, I'm sitting here fidgeting it with it while I while I talk with you. Okay. I'm looking at it. My whole thing is I, I kind of like to just roll it between two thumbs like that. But that's the first one. It's okay. I, I dig it. It's pretty neat, simple. All right, you ready for the next one? Yes. All right, this one, it's kind of like a puzzle as well as a I, fidgety thing. I think I know what it is. Oh, no, I don't. That one's good for a keychain, obviously. It has the keychain uh, ring thing on it. This one, it's kind of uh, puzzly. If you notice, because see, you turn this. Whoa! Go! And you can Whoa there. mix them all up. That see? just blew my mind. Now your mind's blown. Yes! See, now it's like a Rubik's Cube situation. That's what I was saying. There. Were you saying that or were you just Not thinking it? <laughs> See, so now you have something to really fidget with because now you got to figure out how to get them all back in order. Is there any red right here? No, there are not. That could take you a while, but I think people get the idea with this one. Kind of cool, you know, a little keychain. Not bad. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next one. You ready? Next one. A box. This one is by P Need. P Need to fidget. <laughs> you need to pee. You need to pee. Yeah, but this one is relatively similar to the first one, and that it looks like it's a bike chain. I play with this. I can tell you already. Yeah, I mean, again, it's another one of those really super simple things. A lot of the, the fidget thingies really are supposed to be sim simple. That's kind of the whole point behind them, you know? All right, so that's it for the, for the what's that, the third one? Ready for the fourth? I think you'll like this one. I know, I know this is one that you actually were looking forward to playing with. It's like a mix between a fidget cube and a fidget spinner. It's pretty cool though. I'm keeping all of these. You can have them. You can have all these. It's like a, like payday for you. It's like Christmas. It's made of plastic. It looks like it's made of metal, but this is definitely plastic. I'd see myself playing with this. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's yours. Enjoy. I'll tell you what. What we'll do, I would like to see you give away five of these to people. And what we'll do is we'll do a live stream. If you check the description down below, I'm going to leave the date and time in which we're going to actually do a live feed. And people who come into that live feed, what we'll do it is at that time, do a, a drawing. And whoever wins the drawing gets five different items that he chooses for you to win. And you'll get them and we'll send them off to you. Make sure that you go down in the description and check for that date. What you wanna do in order to be notified whenever we actually do do these live feeds is make sure you turn on that, the notification, click that bell because that bell is very important. It's gonna notify you on your computer or whatever to let you know that we're actually doing a live feed. So make sure you do that. Just spam it. 
Just spam the heck out of it. Ding that bell. Are you ready for the next one? Uh -huh. This one is interesting, to say the least. It's not a spinner, but it's this fidget device that it basically has a strong magnet oh, to it. Yeah. I think what it's supposed to do is actually mimic, like, there's three different types. There was this blue one, a red one, and I think a green one. And they all mimicked like different speeds of the gravity on Moon, Earth, and I think like Jupiter was the red one. Jupiter. Yeah, but I mean it's super simple, you know, just kind of falls down. Strong magnet though. Yeah. I mean it's crazy strong. That whole base right there is probably a neodymium magnet. For some reason, I think I expected more out of it than it really is. <laughs> I think you like it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I. Yeah. You seem to be fidgeting with it a lot. All right. You ready for the next one? Yep. The next one. Fidget sticks. I know it already. Well, right. Mokuru is the actual official name for them. I think it's Japanese. Mokuru. Yeah. These are the <laughs> the wooden fidget sticks. They are designed in this kind of perfect way to where they roll on their edges with this this beveled curved edge to it. Well, and they kind of roll like a ball. Like this. Real smooth, smoothly. <laughs> yes. And I think the point of it really is to get them to where they land on their edge, kind of like capping a, a bottle. Whoops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You're challenging who gets the, who lands it first. Yeah, it's like a Mokuru race. These are pretty neat. I actually, I, I played with these for a while before. <laughs> did you get ever get the Lando? Um, I don't think I did. Ah! Oh! He got it! Oh, oh my god! Oh! Oh! So it is possible, clearly, you know, but it's it's tough, I have to admit. That's pretty cool, though. I'm keeping these. <laughs> All right, you ready for the next one? This one is pretty cool. I was actually looking forward to this one myself. It is... Fidget cube! No, it's, it's, it is another magnet kind of a thing. What it has is a magnet in the core of it with a ball on the outside that sticks to it, so, and you can spin it around it. Kind of the same idea as a fidget spinner, but without the bearings on. What do you do? Here, watch. With this one, put it on the edge. I'm guessing that there's a technique to this. Hit it from below. Very amusing. You almost hit me in the face. <laughs> if it would have flown off. <laughs> Can I get it to fall off? That's the question. <laughs> it's strong. Sorry, kitty. So that one's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I like it. I like it. You ready right. for the next one? Yes. All right. For the next one, this is called the Think Ink Pen. This is a pen. Can you it's write a, with it? It's a, yes. It's a fidget <clears throat> pen. If I can get this box open. Ooh. Yeah, this thing's actually pretty velvet. rad. Velvet. It's the velvety. <laughs> Soft and velvety. <laughs> this is the pen here. Check this out. Oh my God. Bend. Ah! <laughs> it comes obviously disassembled. You have to take everything apart in order to get it together. And here's you your little pin tip. I'm a snowman! Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Already made. <laughs> a little bit of trouble there. Oh and then it attaches God. like that. And it allows you to <clears throat> like spin, spin the pin. I think the biggest thing that I would really, the use that I would get out of this is just the fact that it bends. A lot of people like to chew their pens and things like that. That's disgusting. Don't do that, kids. Ooh. Cool. Yep. Writes like a pen. How about that? <laughs> a pen writes like a pen. I play with that. Yeah, I like it. I would do it at like school. I have two more. I know I said that they were alternatives to fidget spinners, but these are fidget spinners. But there's something different about them. One is my absolute personal favorite of everything here. And the other one is just, it's a multifunctional kind of a fidget spinner. It, it kind of does 
many things. So the next one is it is a micro fidget spinner. What I like about it is that it's so tiny. So it's not something that's obtrusive and it spins like crazy fast. Pretty cool, huh? I'm keeping that one. Yeah, I, I super dig this one. It's, I wish it had some way to actually hook it on a keychain because I would definitely bring that with me everywhere if it did. You know that little, that little tiny pocket that you have in your jeans that's above your regular mm -hmm. pocket, the little small pocket? I'd put that in there. I think that's what that's actually made for. <laughs> it's all metal. That's I think it's all aluminum. So that thing's pretty neat, huh? Me like oh my god! <laughs> what? How did you do that? That was cool. Oh, that's rad. I did this one. Yeah, cool. I do too. <laughs> Sorry, kitty. Again, that poor cat. He sounds like three lives. We don't even have a cat. It must be our neighbor's cat. Sorry. <laughs> get here! Get out of here! <laughs> poor kitty. I, sw I promise you, we really love cats, but <laughs> these things just get out of control. Okay, you ready for the next one? <laughs> this is our last and final one, and I think this might be your favorite. I think. This is a fidget spinner, but it's a super, super cool one, in my opinion. No way. Yeah, isn't that cool? Let's show everyone else that they can see. <coughs> the carabiner is here. This is a functional carabiner on both sides. It also functions as a bottle opener. Whenever you put it on top of a bottle, this thing hooks over the top of the bottle and you can... Honestly, I like this one better. Do you? But this one's cool just because it's multifunctional. It's one of those things where it's not just a fidget spinner you're carrying around with you. I like it. I think it's neat. You can keep it. I hope you guys dig some of these. As I said in, the, in earlier, make sure you look down in the description below and I'll supply links to each and every one of these down there. So that just about does it for this episode of Discovery Duo. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and whenever you do subscribe, there's that little bell icon that appears. That's notifications, turn them on. You'll be able to be notified whenever we produce new videos. So until next time, I'm Mike. I'm Joshua. And we are Discovery Duo. Keep things positive, and we'll see you in our next Discovery Adventure. Peace! Peace.